Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 11th, 12th, and 13th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, first time here, or you're a cross-watcher, if you go into the description, um, there's something that'll say cross-watchers, you know, jump to, and there's a timestamp which will bypass the introduction. The, this introduction is tagged on to all of the videos, so you can just click on that and bypass. I hope you'll watch the introduction at least once, though. Your choices, of course. Anyway, this is the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday reading, so I am going to be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot deck and my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle deck. I will also use my Doreen and Grant Virtue Angels of Abundance. I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for this, the introduction, we're going to do an overview of what's going on in the world in, with the universe with my traditional weight rider, and I will pull one from my Colette Baron Reed. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. They're all down there. That really helps and it'll keep me on air. So I thank you so much for doing that. That really, people don't understand. I know it's a it's a pain to keep talking about it, but it does, it does keep me on here. So thank you for that. Now, <clears throat> we have a lot of synchronicity numbers this week. Um, you know, November is an 11, so we have 11-11 for Friday energy here. So 11-11, uh, lots of things have happened on November 11th. Um, some mer very good things, some kind of spooky things too. The 11-11-1111 um, angel numbers, it, it, they are, you know, numbers can be used very much for occult reasons. Occult does not mean that it's all negative or that it's bad or that it's evil. It just means, occult just means hidden, not really seen, not brought out, okay? So we have this very, um, you know, occult type of energy here. Um, <clears throat> it is also then on November, again, that 11, 12, and remember, we're 2022, so we have an 11, we have a 1-1, one, one, we have the 12, 1-2, and then we have the year 2022. Two, two. So we've got the 1-1, one, 1-1-1, one, 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 two, 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 two. So again, very interesting energies. 1s do new, have new beginnings, new starts. Um, 11s are transitional into a new start. Um, <clears throat> twos are choices. Twos have crossroads. Twos have coming together. So all very, very interesting energy. So if you've been seeing a lot of these numbers, it's not coincidental. No such thing as a coincidence. Somebody or something supernatural or, the, or has tried to come into the natural to get your attention. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we have going on in the planets and such. So I talked about the full moon that was today, this morning. Total eclipse, blood moon. Um, you know, it's all over. It took about two and a half hours, three hours, maybe a little bit more to from its start to finish. I woke up because, you know, um, I woke up and I, I didn't quite realize. I'm like, oh, I'm waking up at my normal time again. Didn't quite realize that it was the start of the full moon or the full eclipse. But it was an interesting, it just had interesting energies, and I feel the energy still moving around us. But on November 11th, <clears throat> so, you know, last video I talked about the 5th, or I talked about the 8th through the not the 10th. November 11th, you know, our sun is in Scorpio. It is squaring, which it means that there's a little bit of an opposition energy going on. It's a little bit kind of a uh, at each other. It is squaring Saturn which is in Aquarius. And you know, if you've been watching me, that's Saturn and Aquarius, interesting stuff. Now, Scorpio in itself does not like to maintain secrets. Scorpio likes his own or her own, his own secrets, but does not like um, secrets to um, be held too long. And, Scor and Aquarius in, um, Aqu I'm sorry, Saturn in Aquarius is all about illusion versus reality. So, interesting stuff who's to say what we're going to do we will see what happens that time we also have 
Mercury, okay, and the, I told you Scorpio squaring Saturn, that both of those are 18 degrees. Now, so that, you know, that has a little strength to that one. Aquarius is, um, I'm sorry, Mercury is 22 degrees in Scorpio, and it is trining Neptune, which is 22 degrees in Pisces. And those are two water energies, the Scorpio and the Pisces. And Neptune, of course, is water too. Hidden energies, hidden energies, hidden energies coming out, hidden energies being revealed. Mercury is communication. And, you know, it, it just is just electronics, but a lot of that has to do with hearing and hearing things. So there could be something that's been very hidden that is coming out and being told at this time. Now, I did have, I just realized I did have a card slide out of here. Don't know what it is, but we will bring it here. <clears throat> and we will put this right over here, if you can see, just to see what we're at and where we're going. Okay, this is the card that fell, the first card that fell. It is reversed, and again, numbers have meaning, so we want to kind of pay attention to these numbers too. And this is a four, so stability. It has organization and leadership. Now, this is our sword energy. Sword energy is our Aquarius it is our Gemini, so remember Aquarius and Gemini both have very strong strong planetary movement right now. You know, like I said, um, Aquarius has Saturn and Gemini has Mars. Mars is retrograde right now, so there's very strong pushing it forward. So making plans, but it's also hearing news. The sword energy is about hearing news, and it's all, this is also Libra energy. So this is about, you know, you can just see, <clears throat> this is resting. This is resting, praying. This is resting, praying, meditating. This is staying, you know, this is just kind of like waiting. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Everybody feels like we're always waiting. We all feel, every, you know, many, 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 many people are feeling like something's about to happen. I'm, you know, again, this on this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on this reading, we continue to wait. Now, the other thing is, though, we need to make sure that we're connecting. You can see there is some, you know, hands are in um, supplication. There are three, there are things being seen here, but then this one is not necessarily. This one's hidden. So not everything is coming out. Not everything is being seen. And now we still wait. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what we have here. Judgment. So now this is reversed again. We have a 20, 2, 0, 2, again, crossroads, choices, decisions, 0, God, source, energy. Judgment is coming. Judgment is here. Wake up. This is time for judgment. So, you know, judgment actually has a, has a really good energy that once it is judged, once it is done, you can now move forward. Okay, that's the thing about judgment, but sometimes we don't want to face judgment. We don't want to face, you know, we don't want to look at where it is we've been or look at what it is we've done. And now remember, this is more of a world and universal perspective. So, but at the same time, it has to be done in order for everyone to move on. So interesting with this, I do like in the other decks that this also talks about, you know, more transitional energy. Because if you think of it, it's a 10, 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So it's transitional energy, and we now move on again. But judgment has a very, um, this is a very strong, you have to go through this in order to get to the world card, okay? A lot of this is self-reflection um, also. A lot of this is looking at, you know, the world, what could the world have done better? What could the world have done differently? So let's see, our next card is the Magician. So now we have that one again. So one is a new beginning, new start. These are major arcana cards. So this is the more the universal perspective. I love the Magician. We've got the infinity sign above, which, you know, you flip it, it becomes that eight, unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. We have all of the, um, you know, the energies, the astrological energies. We've got our sword energy here. Um, you know, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. We've got our rod energy here, which is our Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, very determined. We've got our cup, which is our water energy, um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And we have our pentacle energy, which is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now, all of the energies are being represented, but we really, right now, in the skies, we really don't have any of the 
fire energies, but that will be coming around when we, when you know when we start or get closer to our Sagittarius season. But the magician, I love the magician uh, very much, as in heaven, so on earth. You know, we have more power than what we think. We do have the power to make changes. We do have a po the power to actually um, go forward. Anyway, let's see what this one. This is the one that fell on the floor. Here we go. So, we have the Ace of Swords. This is a one. One new beginning. Swords. We've talked about swords again. This is about new ideas. This is about... Um, you know, I'm looking at the crown, too. I mean, so there's a new crown here. There's a new, you know, there's, this could definitely be all about new leadership. That's popping to me, too. It is, you know, there is this bright light, this bright hand coming out of a gray cloud. So something something of interest um, with that. It's also the um, new ideas, new challenges. But there's a blessing on this on this energy here. So... Let's see what we've got going. <clears throat> so we have a couple of ones here. We've got the four and we've got the 20. So let's see. What do we have here with our Colette Baron, the good tarot for this weekend? And we have, like I said, all those ones. So 11-11-222, you know, 2022. 11 12 one so interesting times always as all you know as always. So let's see. Let's see what else we might have here. Here we go. And <clears throat> here we go. The four of earth. The four again is that stability leadership organization. Earth energy is that pentacle energy, the money energy, the the expenditure of energy energy here. Now, the thing about this is this is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn and Taurus are the main players in the pentacle energy right now. Um, there is reciprocity here. There is giving and receiving. Now, the only thing is it's not always about money. It can be about your energies. So, you know, you, you need to know money is, in, money is energy. Someone does a service for you you repay the energy that they gave to you with money, which is your way of giving energy back to them. So part of this is also looking to see, is there an imbalance? Are you giving too much? Are you not giving enough? Uh, but the other thing about this is, <clears throat> and many times over I'll talk about when I see this, is to make sure you check your bank accounts, make sure you're checking checking your, de your debit accounts, that I also feel like this is also a time to watch where your money is going and watch that your money is coming back in. So we've got some interesting stuff here, but it does have a good business energy to it. It does mean that whatever's being done will be done for the right reason. So why don't we again go down there to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. It does look like it's going to be an interesting weekend as we always are in. But why don't we get started with our readings now? Bye-bye. Hello, my Libras. I'm feeling a lot of justice energy around you right now. Not sure what that means. Not sure that that's financial or legal justice. I'm not sure. Um, probably it's more of that spiritual or that karmic justice energy. But, you know, as I, as I, you know, like I say, I pray, I meditate. As I'm getting ready, it's like, oh, justice energy. But then it could just be that you're my wonderful Libras. Your, your, you know, your scales are um, balancing a little bit more. But I just, too, and maybe it's because of the November, November. Um, 11 in the traditional tarot is the justice card. So just picking that up around you. Just picking that up around you. So keep your vibrations very focused on on reclaiming justice for yourself reclaiming justice okay let's go on let's see what we have here for my libras here we go one two and three under three cards here we go first card is six of earth well i love the six of earth i do love the six of earth it does remind me of you in many ways here we have the scale we have the money energy coming in we have a six, which is the number of man. So it's the energies you've put into something. Um, Earth is our Capricorn, our Taurus, and our Virgo, money, job, career. Taurus and 
Capricorn are still the big players right now. And I do love the scales. I love the scales. I know that this is earth energy, not your energy, my Libras. But this is money coming in. This is debt being paid. This is unexpected, unexpected money. So this is this is one of those times that it's just like, Oh, I, I, you know, maybe you needed, you know, I've had that done I, where I needed to pay the mortgage and I had nothing in the bank and all of a sudden the money came in. So this is that unexpected blessings. And this is those times that I say, claim it, claim it. Gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities. So there could be a new job coming around the corner for you. Receiving a loan or paying off debt. So like I said, claim the money, claim the debt, claim, claim it, claim it, claim it. Unexpected money. I love that energy. Here we go. Next card, the five of air. Okay, so five. Five has some change energy, positive or negative. It can be either. Um, air is your energy. It is also our Aquarius. It's also our Gemini energy. Now remember, Mars is in Gemini right now, and that's a very, it's, it is retro, but it's a very strong going after what you want energy. Um, you know, this is this is also considered what I consider the five of swords. This is that sneaky snake. This is watch the watch, you know, watch around you a little bit. Things aren't quite as clear or as 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 forefront or forthwith, forth front. Um, things aren't quite as honest as you might as they might be telling you okay so there's there's just this sense of just a little bit of an imbalance with that energy that justice energy don't be worried about it but you need to be wise you know you need to be sharp you need to watch okay so something's going on there is the money though these these two I don't feel like one is connected per se to the other I don't feel like the money. I'm just, but if you do get money, let's let's put it this way: if you do get money, be careful who you tell. Okay, keep don't don't talk about your money. Don't talk about your money. Don't talk. To, no, don't don't do anything like that. Okay, okay. Anyway, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. And remember, the five of swords is where I see sneaky snake. So, you know. So if you're getting some extra money, hey, you know, and I'm not. You know, we've had that big lottery here. I don't know if it's been won or not. Just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Get your things in order and then move. Okay? Okay. Anyway, let's see. Next card here. The Knight of Air. The Knight of Air. So whatever it is that's going on and whoever, you've got to kind of watch this one. This is the one you got to watch. This is good. Love this energy. This is giving energy. This is receiving energy. Watch this person. Watch this energy around you. Don't, don't, don't share everything. Okay. But then we have the Knight of Air. Knight's underlying energy is our fire energy, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Then we have your air energy over this. So this is something happening fast. So whatever's going on with this money, whatever's going on with this person here, whatever it is, it is fast. It is fast. So again. You might be very caring. You might be very sharing. Again, don't don't talk about it. Don't talk about the um, any money energy. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. I keep getting this. It's like really like, if I stressed it enough? Night of air, fast energy, fast pace. Nights are directional. Nights are moving. Okay, but the air energy, it's just so fast. You might be a little bit overwhelmed with it. So something going on with this money coming in. Keep it to yourself. Move quickly, but be very, very smart about your decisions. Okay? Anyway, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Creative solutions. Something happens very fast for you. Very fast. But you need to be very careful in what you're deciding or in where you're going with this, okay? Not quite sure what this is about, so you're going to have to let me know my my Libras. Again, I do feel a very strong justice energy around you, very much things coming into a balance around you also. So, but just, just be careful with the five of swords, the five of air energy. Be careful about sneaky snake. Don't, don't share, you don't have to share everything. You're, you know, you don't have to share everything. Anyway. 
<laughs> let's see. Let's see what else we've got for my Libras with my John Holland Psychic and Tarot. So, I, yeah, I would say money's come. There's mon there's a money opportunity. Money, un, you know, money coming from an unknown source, a divine source. Again, be very, very leery. I don't know if it's leery about taking the money or it's leery about talking about the money. But whatever this is all about, it's very, it's very, it will help put you in a, in a good direction, but it also happens very quickly. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Recognition and reward. So we have a 653, a 356. I think that this is the three of fire energy. I'm not, I'm never quite sure with these cards. I know the water energy, but three is celebration, uh, creativity. It's also the power of three. Something, you know, I mean, like I said, just be, be very, don't be boastful then. Just be very careful about that five of swords. But it is recognition, it is it is reward, it is money coming in, it is honors, it is really good energy around you too. So somebody, you know, so you're being noted, you're being noticed. Just be careful about this five of air, okay? Does that sound too, I don't want to be, too, I don't want to make you paranoid. I don't want to make you paranoid because the energy is very positive around you. Just not everybody likes to celebrate people's good fortune, okay? So let's see what we've got here. What angels of abundance? What can you tell our Libras? What can you tell our Libras? Because there's unexpected money. I love that part. I love or unexpected opportunity. So again, you know, and it could be it could be a brand new job. And again, just don't. Ugh. I know that I'm harping on it, but it just keeps coming through. Okay, let's see what we've got here for my Libras. Okay, I don't think that's reversed, is it? No. Pay yourself first. So whatever's coming in, and maybe that's the thing. Maybe if you tell everybody or tell somebody, they're going to want you to pay them. I don't know. Pay yourself first. Make yourself the most, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Interesting, especially with this energy here and that one. Okay, let's see. Crystal or energy for my Libras. For my Libras. So I get, you know, now remember too, money is energy. Energy, you know, can be um, not just money but money is energy. So it's saying put your energy towards yourself first. Let's see. Crystal or energy for my Libras. What do we have here? What do we have here for my Libras? <clears throat> Titanium rainbow quartz helps to awaken all chakras, ultimate manifestation, vibrancy, powerful shift. So titanium rainbow quartz is actually a con is a combination of the natural and man-made. So it's a it's a coming together of both. Interesting. Okay, so my Libras, please let me know. Well, don't tell anyone if you get some extra money and pay yourself first. But go ahead and comment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Libras, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.